Hey feds, here's a warning. This is your warning right here. <laughs> it's a warning of water cooler talk. Now is water cooler talk correct? Mm. A lot of times it's not. In fact, this one question has been asked in so many different ways, so many different nuances, and it is almost never correct when they ask it. Let, let, me, let me show you the question, here we go. I was told that federal couples, so two federal employees married to each other, should have their own health insurance, their own FEHB, so that the government pays a portion of both premiums. Is that correct? The answer is no. And let me clarify that. No, because you don't have to have your own health insurance. You can have a self plus one, for example, and the government will still um, will still pay portions of will, will pay seventy percent of the that premium. So it'll still get paid. Now there's a little bit of nuance here because sometimes two self onlys is cheaper than a self plus one, and sometimes you do want to split it up for for being cheaper, not because um, the government will pay one and won't pay the other if you're combined too early or too late or whatever it is. No, that has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that too many, a number of, a number of plans, two self onlys is cheaper than a self plus one. That's why you would do it. And so you want to make sure that what you're doing is you're doing the right thing for the right reason and understand really how it works. But again, this one comes across all the time different nuances and the questions what they've heard is wrong just about every time come to our workshops learn the real way that it's done